The Ball family is just proving to me over and over again that they're probably the biggest opportunist in the entire world of basketball. What's going on guys? Your boy The Flight Mike back again with some NBA news, basketball news, and I hope you guys are doing well during these very difficult times. Guys, very quickly before we get started with the content, um, whoa, my face first of all. I saw some people like making comments trying to like bring out a face reveal of mine, but I'm really not afraid of showing my face. The only reason I haven't shown my face so far is, dude, like, look behind me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's a freaking teddy bear back there. Suck, McNugs. I decided that it probably makes more sense for me to do face cams just so you guys could see my humble beginnings. Um, really quickly, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did officially make a live stream schedule and it's gonna be really cool because i'm gonna be featuring a lot of other youtubers in my twitch live streams now we're gonna start with tonight 9 p.m pacific time i'm gonna be running a park with get like coop if you guys are a big fan of his content and i hope to be getting other youtubers in my live streams now that there is a current outbreak of stuff going on so if you want to just come through and like vibe with your favorite youtubers or you want to just come through and vibe with me suggest some content ideas i'm gonna be streaming nba 2k on tuesdays and thursdays Thursdays at 9 p.m. Pacific time and on Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Hope to see you guys there. Let's get on with today's content. Today I'm making a video on possibly one of the most interesting scenarios that we've ever seen in basketball history, and that's on LaMelo Ball. And honestly, I've said it in the intro of the video, I'm gonna say it again, the Ball family are probably the most entrepreneurial basketball family that I've ever seen in my entire life. And that is definitely accounting for players like LeBron James, who literally has been making moves based off of his business career. Yes, I am a believer that LeBron James literally just joined the Los Angeles Lakers to fund his business aspirations. You don't go to the Los Angeles Lakers who are completely struggling and have Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, and Kyle Kuzma as their best pieces for any other reason than to build your business aspirations. But I'm not faulting him for that. And as a matter of fact, I think that's kind of genius. Genius. LaMelo Ball and the Ball family have never shied away from taking a very unorthodox business route. Originally, we saw what happened with the formation of Big Baller Brand. LeVar Ball decided to form his own brand as opposed to letting Lonzo sign with a shoe company of his choice. And we saw how that turned out. But they doubled down on Big Baller Brand by also making their own Facebook TV show, which, by the way, is must-see TV if you haven't seen it. I personally love Ball and the family. I don't know if they are still running. To be honest, I stopped watching it when Lonzo got traded. But I still thought it was really freaking cool to see a re reality show based off of a NBA star. You know, I thought it was so cool because we got to see so much behind the scenes footage and some of it really felt like it was some real stuff that Lonzo was going through. You know, you would see, for example, his mother had a stroke. How's his mother recovering? You would see LaMelo, a young LaMelo in the earlier seasons when Lonzo just got drafted. You would see that he had all of this talent and potential, but he was just a 16 year old kid that wanted to stay up late with his friends and eat Taco Bell and play NBA 2K. You would see Leangelo, who was about to go into UCLA, but he also made his own stupid decisions as well. You know, I am, there's really two sides to the Ball family. On one side, you can look at them and say, wow, these guys are absolute entrepreneurial geniuses. These guys are business masterminds. And on the other hand, you could say, wow, these guys are way in over their head. And here's the thing, LeVar Ball's marketing kind of doubles down on the wow, they're way in over their head, but it also attracts so much press that it just feeds the machine. We've seen LeVar Ball say stuff like Lonzo's better than Steph Curry. LeVar even recently came out and said that he would beat Zion in a, Zion Williamson in a one-on-one -on -one game if he was still in his prime. Literally the same comment he said about Michael Jordan, he went ahead and said about Zion Williamson. And believe it or not, that didn't really make as many headlines. I guess people are getting sick of LeVar Ball. But I digress. What I'm trying to say here is the Ball family typically doesn't shy away from big business opportunities and just because they fail doesn't mean that they're not going to keep trying over and over again you know just because big baller brand had that following out with alan foster which was a horrible ugly thing where you know there's this i don't know they both lavar and alan both say different things lavar ball accuses alan foster of 
embezzling $1.5 million from Big Baller Brand that caused the collapse of Big Baller Brand that made Lonzo look at his dad and say, listen, I don't know if I could trust this anymore. I don't know if I could trust Big Baller Brand anymore. I don't know if I want to continue doing business with family because, you know, smart people do not do business with their family. There's It's a conflict of interest. It could cause a lot of ups and downs. You, you just don't want it. Like, I speaking from experience, you do not ever want to do business with your family it could result in a lot of controversy it could people could get hurt bridges could be burned but that's beside the point now let's talk about Lamelo for a second we all know Lamelo ball recently apparently signed a 100 million dollar shoe deal with puma supposedly and if you ask me i think that well i don't know if it's confirmed to be puma it's rumored to be puma but the thing is the reason why this is really freaking cool is because lamella ball isn't done here first of all yeah this kind of like tells you all that Lamelo Ball isn't even going to entertain Big Baller Brand. He has learned from Lonzo's mistakes and he is going to carve out his own path. I don't really understand the relationship Big Baller Brand has with um, the Ball family at this point. So if you guys understand it, let me know in the comment section down below. But furthermore, Lamelo Ball, I'm sure you guys know didn't have the most conventional route to the NBA, assuming he gets drafted in the NBA, which he's considered to be a top five pick. He was originally slated to go to UCLA prior to LiAngelo Ball getting dismissed. And once once LiAngelo Ball got dismissed for the whole thing that happened in China, he went and he stole something from a store in China, and that resulted in him getting suspended indefinitely. LeVar Ball being LeVar Ball said, wow, how dare you suspend my son, LiAngelo? We're going to pull him out and put him in Lithuania. And as a result, LaMelo came out and said, wow, after what they did to my brother, I am not going to join UCLA, which sucks because my alma mater is UCLA. I would have loved to see that. But as a result, LaMelo Ball decided to join the NBL. And more specifically, he joined a team called the Illawarra Hawks. Now, for the most part, he showed me enough to pretty much uh, like validate the fact that he will be a top five pick in this year's NBA draft. Without a doubt, LaMelo Ball is going to be a top five pick, and he's going to be a fantastic pick. I think he has the potential to be the best player in this draft. And honestly, if you ask me, the two best players in this entire NBA draft that have the most potential is, yeah, people love Anthony Edwards, but I love LaMelo Ball and his teammate from Chino Hills, Onyeke Okongwu. I think those could two, those two could potentially be superstars in this draft. But LaMelo Ball did something that I have never seen before. So he went ahead and he decided with his manager, yo, I really like this team. We're going to buy them. And they bought the Illawarra Hawks. Uh, His manager's name is Jermaine Jackson. And honestly, this is a huge power move. And if we're trying to make sense of it, I'll tell you why I think they went ahead and decided to purchase the Illawarra Hawks. You see, in sports right now, there's a gigantic market for leagues. And as a result, startup leagues are becoming more and more of a thing as the NCAA is becoming known more and more as this like evil empire that's trying to hide behind amateurism and get free labor from their players slash students. More and more businessmen and people are trying to come up with alternatives for these basketball players to allow them a way to play basketball for their one year that they're not in the NBA so they could somehow make some money while they wait to become eligible. And we've seen many, many like situations like this. And football specifically, we've seen a plethora of startup leagues from the AAF last year to the XFL this year of pretty much leagues that are trying to provide an alternative to the NCAA to, to provide athletes with a means of making a substi- uh, of making a subsistence or making a living. So I believe LaMelo is making a phenomenal business decision here and he is trying to buy the Illawarra Hawks in an attempt to say, yo, listen, guys who want to go to the NBA, I am LaMelo Ball and I purchased the Illawarra Hawks and I went to the Illawarra Hawks prior to joining the NBA and I am in the NBA right now. This is a very valid way to make your way to the NBA. RJ Hampton is also in the NBL. I don't think he's going to purchase a basketball team, but this is a concept that has been proven already by LaMelo Ball 
And it's a phenomenal way or a phenomenal alternative for potential high school basketball players or potential NBA players to make some money on the side to immediately provide for their families while they are waiting to get drafted into the NBA. And who knows? I don't think it's going to be as much of a developmental ground. That's the one issue I have with players playing overseas. I've seen a ton of scenarios of basketball players going overseas and then jumping to the NBA and not fulfilling their potential. The number one player that pops into my mind is Emmanuel Moutier. He was considered to be the consensus number one overall pick like prior to the season of when he got drafted. And he played some time in China, I believe. And when he came out, he wasn't really that good. You know, he's okay, but he came out like the number one issue with Moutier was he is super raw. Now, also, you could point the finger at the fact that there are a bunch of other reasons for this. There's some uh, people that believe that Moutier just happened to come into the NBA at the wrong time. You know, during a time where the athletic Derrick Rose, John Wall archetype point guard was going away and the shift was being made more towards a shooting style type of point guard that could hit the outside jumper and create for their teammates like more like Trey Young so I digress I wanted to get your guys' opinion on this why do you think LaMelo Ball would purchase the Illawarra Hawks do you think there's more to it than what I'm just saying do you think this is a good business venture or do you think it's not going to make that much of a difference in the way things are being done here the Ball family has tried to make alternatives in the past for high school players they did form the jbl but that wasn't really that successful they couldn't really make it a serious league because most high school players weren't really entertaining it you see startup leagues don't have that much money to give players once they're starting out so as a result it's very hard to attract players to go and join the league over the ncaa which has been proven over the past i don't know 50 60 years so let me know what you guys think about this business venture and make sure you're coming through to the stream later on tonight my twitch is in the description down below i'm your boy the flight mike and i'll catch you guys in our next upload